You know, I can hear the cackling from down the street. <laughs> My name is Jinx Monsoon. I'm 24 and I'm Seattle's youngest MILF. <laughs> Swimsuit competition. I'm theatrically trained in the Broadway School of Singing. Oh, okay, detox with the feathers. I don't know about that Jinx yet. She's a little kooky. <laughs> Jinx Monsoon, welcome to the Drag Lagoon. I don't know how to swim. I learned how to swim by one of my uncles pushing me off a log into a river. First time under the water, I lost both my contacts. I was blinded within seconds. OK, you look a little scared underwater. A more pretty face. OK, too much splashing. Uh-oh. You're splashing around. Oop. You OK? Just a little tech. Tangled. I think All we're right. gonna have to call it a wrap. Jinx, there's got to be a morning after. <gasps> Jinx out of drag? Uh, why does she have an eye patch? What is going on? Oh my god. I saw you sleeping earlier. I was like, maybe she's really tired. I have narcolepsy. So if I don't like stay active, I start to slunk and then it's a whole big mess. Wait, Miss Thang. So you fall asleep out of nowhere? No, it's not oh, how okay. they do it in the movies. You know, like, you can feel it coming on, and if you're lucky, you make your way to a sofa and like... <laughs> I am Seattle's premier Jewish narcoleptic drag queen. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm not gonna make an excuse for it. I wear my narcolepsy as a badge of pride. It's something I've had to... Jinx, you okay? <sighs> <clears throat> Jinx Monsoon. I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. DeMille. I'm serving 100% aquamarine Grecian red carpet couture. I am in heaven right now. <laughs> I dream of Jinx. Yeah. Loofa my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Jinxie. Hi. You caught me with one eyebrow on. <laughs> You are a quirky character. I am just dying to find out who are you playing? Her name is Little Edie Bouvier Beale. Jackie Kennedy's cousin. Yes. I love her, but are you a little worried that the audience at home won't know who she is? It's a concern I had, but I, I, I kept tossing around, you know, pop icons I could do, and just none of them speak to me the same way. I landed on Little Edie because I really relate to her. And since I started in this competition, I feel even more connected with her right now. She's a little misunderstood. Yes, well, just make sure you make Little Edie pop for the unwashed masses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, well, listen, you got a lot of work to do. I'm going to let you get to it. All right. Welcome to the new Snatch Game. Today, it's a Battle of the Browns. She put the wubba in wubba wubba wubba. Downtown Julie Brown. And she's like totally the original Valley Girl, Julie Brown. May I call you Uptown Julie Brown? I prefer just say Julie. <laughs> now, let's meet our celebrity panel. Direct from Grey Gardens, it's little Edie Beal. Oh, hi, RuPaul. How is Big Edie doing? She's always begging for the pate, but the label is faded. I can never tell if it's pate or if it's giblets for the cats. <laughs> First question for Julie Brown. Lady Bunny is so over politics. When she steps into the voting booth, she just blinks. Pleasures herself with the voting wand. Let's hear what our celebrities have to say. Little Edie. Well, I don't know her personally, but she looks older than Mother Darling, so I said when she steps into the voting booth, she just seizures. Spelling? Seize. <laughs> Not a match. All right, we're going to the original material girl, Marilyn Monroe. She passes out. I think if it was me, it'd be the hard decision making. I get a little, little bit lightheaded sometimes. Now, you're into politics, aren't you? Presidents and... Ivy totally didn't get the joke. It was an awkward moment. 
quite the scandal, actually. Yes. With my cousin-in-law, really. Yes. It was in all the magazines at the time. <laughs> Rue, may I ask you why you couldn't have gotten any real celebrities for this game? Well, I don't have a single idea who any of these people are. <laughs> you could have gotten Leslie Caroon yes. or Audrey Hepburn or any one of them. Instead, you got ketchup. Ketchup. And that must be Janice Jixon. Jinx Monsoon, Chicken of the Sea. I am serving up Seattle boho chic with a flair of day out at the beach. <laughs> it's like a flying fish. Brackish, actually. Now there are 102 ways to wear a scarf. <laughs> <laughs> what are the ducks back? What are the ducks back? All right, next up, Jinx Monsoon, Michelle Visage. Jinxie, I am starting to give up here. It's rather pedestrian. I'm not getting glamour. To me, this looks glamorous. I have big blonde hair. This to me is not big blonde hair. I do think we have a slightly different aesthetic. <laughs> <laughs> we do? <laughs> You ruled the Snatch Game. <laughs> I thought it was absolutely brilliant, and I think anybody who ever does the Snatch Game should watch what you did. Jinx Monsoon! You gave us 50 Shades of Grey Gardens. Congratulations, you are the winner of this week's challenge. A life dream is coming true today. Jinx Monsoon. Roxy Andrews. There are two types of peanut butter, creamy and crunchy. <laughs> I'm not crunchy, baby. Detox. You won the challenge. You can take the chicken mask off now. <laughs> the main challenge this week is to roast RuPaul, as well as our fellow queens and the judging panel. I just have to kick ass at it, because at a drag show, when you bomb, you don't just hear crickets. You hear shotguns getting cocked. It's going to be hard to top Coco. But look at her, who would want to top Coco? <laughs> Michelle Visage is so full of semen, period. <laughs> no, seriously, she's a whore. <laughs> now on to the grand high bitch herself. Rue, what I admire most about you is your ability to look at these tired queens and always find a compliment for them. <laughs> You're so full of <laughs> the toilet's jealous. <laughs> Give it up for RuPaul. Next up, Jinx Monsoon. You have a career in or out of drag and comedy. You killed. Thank you. Jinx, oh Jinx. Let's start with the runway look. I love it! <laughs> right hair, right makeup. I am so friggin' proud of you. To hear that from Michelle Visage, Oh my God, that was worth its weight in gold. Jinx Monsoon. <gasps> Drag of the dead. I feel fantastic. Looking spooky and sexy all at the same time. You know, Jinx is like all the other supermodels, just skin and bone. Yes. I have bad news. Here the door. Get out. You ugly, stupid man. Maria, you have a rare fatal condition. <gasps> and if you hear the names of fools, you will orgasm so violently that you will die. I have the same disease. <gasps> no! Now that you mention it, we never talk about food. <laughs> It is I who put the curse on La Casa de Locas. <gasps> Gilda! You are muy stupid, I have to think you are going to take over our familia. Simichenga! Fistaco! Jinx Monsoon. This week, 
You came, you saw, and you came again. You're the winner of this week's challenge. Well, hello, Jinx and Dave. Hi, Rue. How's it going over here? He and I decided we're going to do a Judy and Liza tribute. Oh, my goodness. I've got the backstory. Tell me about that. I think I might have killed Judy Garland. We were talking one night at dinner, and she asked me about the new sleeping pills that were out. I told her about a new one, and she died of an overdose. Dave has got Rue speechless. How do you respond to, I think I killed Judy Garland? <laughs> He's a monsoon, all right. <laughs> well, you know, Dave, she worked real hard to, to get there. All right, listen, you kids get back to work, and I can't wait to see you. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Dave is using the flag as a cane, both for comedic and practical reasons. But I choreographed our piece to be well within his capability. Come on, Mama, come on. And give the Judy Garland a little swagger. I have been trying to pull away from camp and shtick in this competition, but I would rather him be safe than try to lay all this complicated choreography on him. It's me and my mama. <laughs> Do one around. Uh. Mama, your skirt's falling down. Oh, no. oh mom. Tomorrow, I want to win for Dave's sake. From the House of Monsoon, Jinx and Fortuna. Judy looks more like Liza these days. Yes! We are serving Mama and Gypsy realness. I think we really hit the nail on the head with this one. Meet me in the middle and give him a little hip. <laughs> Here we go. And, oh, you got it! Now that's entertainment. Hello, mother. Hi, Jinx. How's Trick? Tricks are for kids. I'm a lady. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I hope you have an appetite. Oh, yes. This looks more than I can handle. Now, Jinx, what do you think your life's going to be like? What, what do you want to do? It's been my life dream ever since I started doing drag to do drag on Broadway. I could see you as Blanche Dubois. I could see that, too. <laughs> so what was it like for you growing up? I know that you had to sort of grow up really fast. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. I had no real mother in my house when I was a teenager because of her alcoholism. There were times where me and my brothers wouldn't have gone to school that day if I hadn't gotten us up. What effect has that had on who you are as Jinx Monsoon? This is my way of making peace with a dark childhood and make light of the disheveled, kind of crazy, kooky mom. <laughs> and then I adapted into my mature drag queen from yesteryear character. Right, So and so you're saving the Britney Spears part of your career for later. It never even occurred to me before my lunch with Rue that maybe the reason I do drag as an older character is because I never really connected with my childhood. I think you're a really bright star, and I'm so happy you're here. Thank you. I'm happy I'm here, too. <laughs> and I'm not going to eat these. I'm going to make a necklace out of them. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. Action. Judge Rudy, the prosecution would like to submit the murder weapon. Objection. Reading the witness. You want answers? We want the tea, stupid. You can't handle the tea. Jinx was the most solid in her characterizations. She has the leading edge in this courtroom drama. And cut. Big change. Next roll. Next up, Jinx Monsoon. Oh. Fairy tale come to life. Fairy princess bride. It is. I am exuding beauty from within. I want them to see how gorgeous and proud I feel. Look at soft, earthy Jinx. She's a real Renaissance woman. What kind of sauce is Renaissance? Oh, it's good on some chicken. Mm. Jinx Monsoon. Growing up, I was continually an outcast. And in my teen years, I discovered drag. So even though I was hurting at home, I was living on stage. My whole life, I've danced to the beat of a different drum. 
And when I came here, I took the critiques and I was able to adapt and grow while still being true to who I am as a performer. And anything else was just water off a duck's back. <laughs> Thank you, Jinx. Three amazing queens stand before me. Ladies, this is your last chance to impress me and prove to the world that you are America's next drag superstar. This is the last chance to show ourselves to Rue, the judges, and the whole world. Good luck, and don't f it up. This is the beginning of the record you like. Over and over, over and over. Break it up. Jinx Monsoon represents the awkward kids of the world. Being America's Next Drag Superstar means everything to me. <laughs> Get it, girls! Wow! <laughs> Ladies. I have not made my final decision. The race is that close. The time has come to crown our queen. As always, I have consulted with the judges and the fans, but the final decision is mine to make. Alaska, Jinx Monsoon, Roxy Andrews. The winner of RuPaul's Drag Race, America's next drag superstar is Jinx Monsoon. Everything RuPaul's Drag Race at your fingertips? Then head over to YouTube now and subscribe to the RuPaul's Drag Race channel. And you will get all the episodes of everything you ever want, including brand new episodes of Whatcha Packin'. Hi.